All right, so I'm going to actually give you like a quick tutorial because um, Blackboard, the, the way that you see Blackboard is different than the way we saw it in the spring. And I had some issues. I was thinking, good gracious, this looks different. So when you come in to the FTCC homepage, Blackboard's right up here. So when you click here, this is a little different. Um, uh, our grades and calendars are right here. So if I go to my calendar, I normally look, um, like to see it by the month. And here are some things. Um, this was for the spring, so now you can start seeing things that I put on the um, calendar for the survey is purple and the green is the souls and foundations. All right, the courses are right here on the up on the left. Once you go into the courses, you should be able to find it if you don't see it. Maybe go under, um, I think there's like a search button and you can look for like summer uh, 2021. So I'm just going to go into um, the survey 2021 summer. And once you get in here, it should look the same. So there's not any difference in here. It's just getting to this point. Now, I want to kind of give a quick um, overview on how to get to any of the videos that are record lectures in class. And this is one from the spring. So I don't have any collaborate uh, videos done yet for this class, for the Souls and Foundations or Survey 2. So I'm just going to show you um, what we did in the spring. There's collaborate. When you get here, if I have a live session going, you'll say you'll be able to say join. If not, you'll go to menus and go to recordings. And then I typically put today's date and, you know, part one, part two, or whatever the class is so that you can watch it. Now, usually if it's a really good video that I like, I'll download it and put it in Blackboard. Uh, otherwise, then I just leave it in here and these will uh, get deleted at the end of the semester. Um, so typically, if you want to go back and watch any, if you missed a class, you can go back and watch what we covered. Plus, some get home and say, okay, yeah, I didn't quite get what she did. Let me go back and watch it again because I know i got a test coming up. So I think that's about the gist of it. I also want to show you that I do have a YouTube channel. Um, so actually, here's some of the latest from my YouTube channels. Um, so if... This is me, and I have 64 subscribers, um, and typically these are all, actually, there's a lot more I have. I probably have, that's all the videos that I have, and there's a lot of these that I did last summer. There's the um, final review from last year for um, Survey 2 exam. Um, a lot of this stuff here is either from surveying or souls and foundations last summer. So I do have a YouTube channel. Um, as you can see, there are some that has more views than others. It's specifically for my students. But when I looked at one of mine, I had like right there, I've had 1.9 so I've had 1,900 views, and this actually is for the Surveying 2 class. So I've got 176 views on um, checking homework, um, and that's a really good thing for the Survey 2 class. Um, I may have to get, for the ones that are on campus, I may have to get the program, email the program to you but there is a program you can check your homework with. Um, but most of this was all summer. And uh, if, and because I um, put it in, I put it in YouTube, that way I could close caption it and put it inside our um, Blackboard. So just letting you know, I have a YouTube channel. It's 
usually for school. Uh, actually did some for the CEG class and did reviews. Um, it, only if I like it do I put on my YouTube channel and then share it. So I hope that kind of helps everybody. I'm going to email this link to everyone and then we'll start this semester. It's going to go by really quick. Um, I'm going to try to make it interesting and fun and you're going to have to be self-motivated for this class because you're going to have time off in between um, when we're uh, when you're in class and then when you come back on Mondays. All right, hope we have a good semester and feel free to reach out to me by email or call um, and we'll go from there.